Hey there, YouTube. Welcome to Draco Ray Gaming. Today, we're going to be talking about media creation tool, aka how to build a Windows installer USB drive, a bootable USB drive that will install Windows, uh, refresh your system, do a repair, etc. Uh, I've had a lot of people ask me how to do this. Um, I was actually surprised uh, a lot of the, the gaming community and, and the younger kids within the gaming community don't actually know how to do this in the, in the PC building community. A lot of their uh, pre-builds come with Windows or etc. So there may come a point in time when you need to refresh your system, you have some corrupted files and things like that. So as usual, no BS, no fluff. Let's get into it. All right, here we are inside Windows. So the first thing we're going to want to do <clears throat> is make sure we have uh, a, th a thumb drive, a thumb drive with at least eight gigs of space. <clears throat> um, they're very inexpensive. Uh, because when you go to, and I will put this link down below, what you want to do to start building your USB thumb drive is obviously have a USB thumb drive, but uh, you're going to be going to microsoft.com slash software download slash Windows 10. And uh, here, there's a download now button. You can go ahead and click that now if you want to get that downloading. Uh, but right here is what we're going to be utilizing and doing is using the tool to create installation media, aka DVD, ISO, but no, we don't use disks anymore. A lot of uh, people don't even have thumb drives laying around anymore. Um, but uh, for this instance, it's really, really helpful to have a backup media creation tool drive. Um, and they're very inexpensive. I mean, you can get a 16 gig uh, drive, like just like I'm holding for $6 shipped to your house instantly. Um, so they're very, very inexpensive. Um, <clears throat> and so after you go through, this gives you all the information on how to do it step by step. Um, and so I've already have it downloaded. And basically what it's just telling you is that you need a 64 or 32 bit system and, and you, know, you can pick your language. You need a thumb drive with at least uh, eight gigs of space, a blank one, um, and it'll help you build it. So uh, it walks you through the four steps on how to do it and which windows um, additions that it has accessible on it, etc. So there's a lot of information here, but that's really all we need to cover. So what I did is I went ahead and launched the media creation tool. We'll take a look at it now. Um, I'm going to go ahead and plug uh, the thumb drive into my system. All right, thumb drive plugged in because it's going to want to look for it. So um, you go ahead and read through this, click accept. It says getting a few things ready. It checks your system out. It sees what kind of version of Windows you have, et cetera. Now, you can do this within Windows, or you can do it by restarting your system and booting from the drive. So um, it can also initiate a reboot uh, into the thumb drive for you if you're not familiar with utilizing the BIOS or pressing F12 during boot to get into the thumb drive. So it says, upgrade this PC now or create installation media. So what we want to do is create installation media. Language is English, Windows 10, 64-bit. It's going to use the recommended options for this PC. And we have a flash drive. We're not going to be using lighting and disk. Um, it's found my F thumb drive that I just plugged in. I know this is it, my PQ thumb. We're going to use that, and it's going to go ahead and build that thumb drive out and install Windows on it. All right, so that takes about 15 minutes and then it'll finish your USB drive and it'll be ready. You hit finish and then it's pretty much done and you have that drive. And uh, here you can see it's an actual Windows uh, installation drive now. So if you go to like say setup or you launch that uh, application within the thumb drive, <coughs> Excuse me, it'll actually prepare itself and then it'll uh, you can install Windows through here or kick off a reboot, do whatever you want to do. Uh, let's see, I want to help make this installation better. No, that's fine. Uh, let's see, changing. Uh -huh, this is all good. So it'll check for updates. It'll prep itself, make sure it has the most updated version, do all that. And then you can tell it to reboot and reinstall Windows and go through the, the prompts and the process like that way. Once it has the updates, it'll restart, it'll recheck the PC. Accept the terms. Okay, so then finally you get to this screen where it's all prepped, it's updated, it knows what version of Windows you're going to install, it knows if you're keeping personal files, etc. And this will uh, reinstall Windows, but you can change what to keep, you can tell it to keep it or to actually just nothing and, and do a clean refresh install of Windows and you can kick it all off all within here 
and all off using the thumb drive with with no problems whatsoever. And then all you would do is hit next and it'll do that. Now, I don't want to do that because I'm not I don't want to reinstall Windows or anything at that time. But if you want to keep your personal files, you can keep them and applications. This will keep just your personal files, but delete the applications. And then this will just delete everything and do a fresh copy of Windows reboot and just follow the prompts. It'll take you through that process. <clears throat> now, <clears throat> one of the other things that you can do is just restart your computer push F12 on boot and uh, during F when you push F12 you typically it'll take you during just keep pushing F12 while your system's rebooting typically what it'll do it'll bring you to a boot menu and what you can do is select your USB drive that you want to boot off of and just select it with the arrow keys and hit enter and it'll take you through the same process the same Windows installation process and it'll ask you what you want to do what version of Windows you want to install etc but it is much that now that's if you can't you don't have Windows on the PC already and that's the manual way to do it is by going through here and then basically Basically going through the same process I just showed you is selecting Windows, selecting what you want to keep, what drive you want to install it on, uh, etc. Thank you for checking out this video. I hope it helps you guys in creating a USB installation media tool for your Windows installation to refresh your OS and or just wipe it and do a fresh install. Get that Warzone Call of Duty running, get your PC ready for Warzone 2 or Modern Warfare 2 or any of the other new games coming out, God of War, Ragnarok, etc. Lots of great titles coming out. I'm Drake O'Reilly here to help the gaming community and I'll see you next time.